Hi, this is Matt from Find My Blogway. I'm going to show you a new plugin that I've been using for WordPress called the Premium SEO Pack. And what this plugin is, is I suppose I haven't really found any, any real alternatives to Yoast's SEO pro, uh, plugin for WordPress. And when I came across this particular plugin, it is a premium pro plugin. It costs, um, I think it's $35, $40. Um, you can get it from kind of Code Canyon or um, wherever you like online. But what it does is it does a little bit more than what Yoast's plugin does. Gives you more of a, a visual interface, um, displays information really well, and has a few really quite handy features that ties in almost a load of different plugin capabilities into one. So I've installed the plugin on Find My Blogway <clears throat> and had it running for kind of a couple of weeks now doing some testing. And this is kind of the, the general dashboard. So you get some kind of general statistics um, just around, so the homepage, for example, uh, Alexa ranking, you can have kind of an audience overview uh, down here. So you've got all of your analytics that you can quickly see. But there's there's so much more than that. So <clears throat> one of which is which is particularly great is SERP tracking. So you can completely negate the need for um, an external tool that you'd use. So if you're using something like SERP book or um, or advanced web ranking, anything like that that tracks your um, your keywords, then what you've got within this plugin is a complete analysis tool and one of the nice things is you can you can actually do it against each of the different URLs now I haven't plugged any in here at the moment but all you need to do is type in the keyword type in the URL or just focus um, on the domain you can add as many keywords as you like in there and it will track over time the the current Google ranking the worst the best um, you can choose different country specific uh, versions of Google and um, a really great feature of the of the plugin. Another nice thing is uh, the page speed insights. Uh, you have to apologize the internet connection that I'm on at the moment making things a bit slow. But what you can do is you can run mass page speed tests, which is pretty awesome. Um, so let's just I'll just take one of my pages. Um, let's just take the strategic content creation for link building and we'll see how inefficient my custom coded wordpress theme is um, <clears throat> what it will do is it will scan through and this this was something that i was testing out on one of uh one of my other websites and it was really quite handy um it, it can take a bit of time to kind of run through everything so thinking about it now i'm not going to wait for this to kind of go all the way through but a really handy tool uh, that you can use so you can have all individual URLs, see particular uh, issues that may be arising in certain ones, view full reports, and you can just get that running kind of here and there just to keep a check on things. The next one is the 404 monitor. Um, now, this this tool, when, it, when my uh, internet loads, this tool is pretty handy. Um, what you can do is you can set it up. I haven't actually got any 404 errors at the moment, but you can add in uh, redirects through to any uh, any 404 errors that come up here. So whenever anyone comes through to a 404 on the site, it will be stored within this list. I can then select from a list, click add link redirect, and redirect that through to the right page so that from an SEO point of view, that's great. More importantly, from a user experience point of view, you're not having people coming through to 404 pages. You can redirect them through to through to the content. So those those four tools alone are are well worth the $35, $40 that you pay for the plugin. Um, now coming on to kind of the more on-page optimization side of things. Um, this, when you set it up, if you already have a plugin like Yoast's uh, WordPress SEO plugin, or if you have um, the all-in-one SEO pack for WordPress, you can import all of the settings. So don't worry about thinking, well, oh, now I'm going to have to reconfigure everything. All you do is click one single button when you set this up, and it says import all of your current settings, 
and it will rejig it all to fit in with this plugin. Um, and what you can do is you can go across within this specific section, go across all of the different URLs that you have, type in a keyword that you're focusing around, then it will give you kind of a score. You can have um, an SEO report, so it will say uh, the title, the keyword phrase does not appear in the page title, looking at density, is it in the URL, um, is, is any of the images that have an alt attribute with this keyword in, etc., etc. So a nice little overview that you can have a look at and get, if you're specifically targeting some keywords, have a little look and see how you've optimized that in terms of an on-page optimization point of view. Another feature that you'd expect, um, but that, that works really well, is the the kind of the type, the page title and meta uh, taxonomy. So you can go through <clears throat> title format, and you've got loads of different short codes that you can quickly plug in to auto populate all the different types of pages across WordPress. <clears throat> so you can have things like the category title, pipe title name, um, the site title. So it'd be, for example, SEO articles, pipe, fun of luck way. Uh, likewise, same with meta description. I'm not going to go too much into this meta keywords, which I don't know why anyone would use now. Um, meta robots and the social meta. Uh, I haven't actually set this up yet, but very easy to do. So you've got all of your open graph meta codes, um, open graph images, what type of site it is, um, etc. So again, great feature. Um, another one that you'd expect, but uh, is, is completely within here, it will create your sitemap. And more importantly, it creates individual image sitemaps and video sitemaps so that you can have a uh, full markup across all of your video content. Uh, and they'll ping that directly to Webmaster Tools and Bing from here. Slug optimizer. So the slug is um, <clears throat> the the last part of the link. Um, what you can kind of do here is remove any stop words or take out words automatically out of URLs and um, have that kind of all set up. I, I'm I'm not using this, but it it could be a, a tool that some of you may find useful. I usually customize all of my URLs um, by hand. So. SEO friendly images. So this automatically adds alt attributes and titles to all of your images. Again, I don't use this, but particularly handy thing is that you can put in the focus keyword that you've outlined within um, the plugin and just automatically add that as the alt text to all of your images. Um, and it will do that retrospectively. So really nice feature if you want to do that. And uh, they've got some uh, a little local SEO um, plugin. This isn't relevant for my blog. If you are running a WordPress website where you want to ensure that uh, your address, your NAP um, address is all formatted correctly, it will do all of this. You can check all your stats, notify Google. It will send you through to the different validators, link up your local SEO locations within an XML file so that you can submit that through to Google. So a nice little feature, I think. <clears throat> here's, here's a part that I was quite interested in checking out. Um, we've got in the off page optimization, backlink builder. Now, <clears throat> I, I personally, I wouldn't really use this feature that much. Um, maybe I'd use a couple of these directories. But having said that, it is a pretty good feature. Uh, I mean, these are loads of different page rank, four, two, three, at the, this, I mean, 78 pages of these, 778 directories that what you're allowed to do within this plugin, which is pretty cool because you would usually pay or spend quite a lot of time to do this. Plug in your email, uh, your name, email, the title. So you could have like your site title, find my blog way, the URL here a description, save that. Um, and then what you can do is it will auto submit to each of these directories, all the information that you've put in here. So you could auto submit your website through to 778 different directories 
And what you're going to get from that is a load of dofollow backlinks from a load of directories. So we won't go into it too much. I'll leave that up to you guys um, because it's, that is a good feature. It's undeniable. So now uh, I'm just going to go down to the social stats section. <clears throat> there's some there's some quite good features actually uh, within this off page optimization um, side of things. Um, one one thing that I like for the analysis is this social stats area. What you get to do is have a look across all of your posts that you've done and see what the kind of social stats were. So. I can see, okay, why have I had nine pins on Pinterest for this one? Um, what 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 are my top performing posts on Google Plus? Um, what are my top performing posts on Twitter? How many stumble upon views have I had? How many people share it on LinkedIn, etc.? And that's that's a pretty awesome uh, bit of analysis that you can instantly do uh, within the tool, so that you can get an overview and understand what content is working on your site and what's getting shared the most. So another great little analysis feature. And like I said, one of the big things of the plugin is it's very visual. Um, this, this is a feature that I haven't really used yet, um, but this is kind of <clears throat> one thing that you can do is do, it's called an SEO link builder. Uh, you can add some internal links across your site, um, likewise link out to other websites uh, within here. So press add new link, uh, type in the URL, the title, rel, um, and then you can add that in. I, I haven't used it much. It's When I was kind of looking into it, it didn't seem like an amazing feature, but a feature all the same. So I'm, I'm not going to go into that, to be honest. 301 link direct uh, is, is the next bit. <clears throat> and again, set up really easy 301 redirects so you don't need to go into your HD access file you don't need to get hands dirty with any code if you have very little knowledge of code or to be honest you just don't want to be going through your server and messing around with the HD access because for anyone that has done that in the past I think you'll appreciate and side with me here that it's it's a minefield making edits there so nice interface quickly do it done so really quick and easy to do, nice interface. So that's all of the off-page optimization side of things. There's a few other little nice features. So you can do um, file editor, let me just go into here. So you can go in and change your robot.txt file. Again, you're not needing to go into your server, so handy if you're doing this on the fly as well. Uh, W3C validator, if you're not familiar with what that is, it's just checking that all of your URLs are W3C compliant. So clearly a few of mine aren't, which I need to look at. Now, this is a pretty awesome uh, feature, Facebook Planner. Now, <clears throat> I won't have anything in my queue here, but this is one feature that I really liked actually. When you've published a post, what you can do is you, you link this up to your Facebook. So my Facebook pages, I've got Find My Blog Way uh, linked up. Uh, you can also hook up to any groups that you have, etc. But what you can do is when you've when you've set up a post, so in your actual posts pages, you can go in and there's a Facebook scheduler. Add the post into your Facebook schedule and it will auto post it out in the format that you want. And you can schedule that in all through here and it will post straight to Facebook. So it's again automating all of that uh, so that you can quickly get um, what you need done without having to kind of mess around with going on to Facebook, plugging it in, or uh, I mean, it even negates the need to kind of buffer things as well. So uh, actually, one of my favorite features is this Facebook planner. So have a little play around with that because it's, it's pretty good. And finally is uh, Smush It. If you've not used this before, I used to have this in a separate plugin, so it's great uh, that I have it now. This compresses all of your images. So, you, so for example, if I've just done a, a new blog here, just plugged an image in, what I can then do is press smush it, and it will compress that image, improve page speed, which, as, as you're probably aware, is really good for user experience, and now very much so for SEO as well. And that just about rounds up uh, the tool overall. So, I mean, for, for the price that you pay, you do get a lot more than just 
an SEO tool per se. You've got the the, the mass backlink submitter uh, to the directories. You've got all the on-page optimization side of things. Um, you've got all of the SERP tracking, which is great. Page speed insights, the Facebook planner, smash it images. Um, and the easy 301 redirects, which are particularly good. And uh, I've been told by the guys that they're going to be kind of constantly working on this one to add more features. So check it out, see what you think. Um, you may like some of the features, may not like some of the features. Um, so see what you think and let me know.